There is no innovation without risk. And if you're always right, you're probably not taking enough risk. And if you're always wrong, then you're, you're, you're not learning. I always think in terms of human ecosystems. I don't just think about from my own perspective. I think about kind of like, as it were, you have a third eye looking at lots of people interacting with each other. Now, when I was younger, it was, what are the dynamics in a family? What are the dynamics in a school? And as I get older, it gets to larger and larger groups. Um, you know the city, the society, the globe. And since that's where my attention has been, that's always been the stage in which I've wanted to create change, create actions. I liked technology, but for me, technology is a tool in terms of how do I help improve human ecosystems. And it just so happened to be that starting companies, building early stage technologies and so forth was the path to do that. The way that I do innovation and invention is somewhat different than the way many do it, which is I do an intersection of what I see as possible in technology with what I see changing in the world. And what I was noticing was both the way that careers and work landscapes were changing in terms of the fact that now you should analyze every individual's career as a business of themselves, like the whole notion of, you know, how do you improve your skill set, how do you improve your economic prospects? Well, you have to self-drive that. And then the other one was technology changes, the internet. Uh, what does the internet allow and enable? And it was like, well, it actually enables everyone to have an individual professional brand. It enables people to search each other, enables a network to be established by which people can collaborate and help each other. And this can all be done in a lightweight way that allows you to do your job and be more effective at doing your job while also having this network. And that intersection was the thing that allowed me to, to see LinkedIn. There's a key component to most good, I think most good innovations and entrepreneurial companies, which is when they start, you should be contrarian. The majority of people should think, oh, that's kind of crazy, because you're building up to when the market changes in the right direction, that you're then there at the forefront when that market opens up. For example, in early stages of Google, search was considered to be a lost leader. It was considered to be not that valuable. Yahoo, AOL, etc were priding themselves on how little people use search and how much they do other things as part of a, as part of uh, generating a media property. It was time on site, not directing people to other sites as a function. And yet, Google kind of went, oh, this is actually the valuable thing. This is the thing that we're going to be really good at. To be contrarian, you have to say, here are the theses about what I think is really valuable or will be really valuable at plus one years, plus three years, plus five years, that people don't realize yet. And they may not realize because they don't recognize how uh, the web is changing, how mobile is changing, how technology landscape is changing, how customer demand is changing, you know, something. And so for all of them, they don't see what this change is coming, but I do. And then that then becomes the hypothesis that you build your business towards. I would hope for three things. The first is that the impact of my work will have helped various institutions, technologies, have an ongoing compounding good effect in society. The second part is I still hope to help strengthen what I think of as public intellectual culture in the U.S., which is a public discussion about who we are as individuals in society and who we should be. So not just creating the products and the, e and the things that improve the ecosystem, but have the discussion about it. And then I guess the third thing would be is one of the interview questions that I ask executives frequently is, you know, if you were to write your obituary, what would you want to have in it? And uh, for me, it would be that society has become a better, healthier, nobler, compassionate, people are reaching their potential better as a function of these two projects, of the works that I'm doing and the public intellectual. And my legacy would be a contribution to society being better in that way.